Hey, it's Steve here from NextGen AI, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you three easy methods to make your content undetectable from AI detectors, all right? So there's a lot of talk and a lot of buzz around AI detection right now, and in my opinion, a lot of it is just complete nonsense. AI detectors right now are either overtuned or undertuned, and they're detecting completely human content as AI and vice versa, okay? Now, in my opinion, this doesn't matter simply because Google has said that they do not mind AI content as long as you're not spamming. So as long as you're putting quality control and editing your articles, you're going to be absolutely fine. In fact, I have articles ranking highly that are 100% detected by AI detectors, okay? It simply does not matter, right? So keep that in mind. It's not the end of the world if your content is detected. But if you're an agency or no, you're part of an agency, you'll know exactly what it's like to have a client paste your uh, finished article that you've worked really hard on into an AI detector. It comes back as 50% likely and they reject the piece, okay? So this video is for you guys. I'm going to show you three easy methods. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use um, ChatGPT 4.0, of course. I'm going to use an AI detector called Zero GPT. It's free and it's one of the most reliable and accurate in my opinion. And I'm also going to use a tool called Undetectable AI. So the very first method I'm going to show is actually using this Undetectable AI tool. Um, it's free for a couple of articles and then you'll have to pay to use credits, okay? Guys, you know, if you anything worth their salt, you have to pay, you have to use credits for, right? But we want the best result possible. So I'm going to go ahead and first of all, I'm going to I generated um, some content earlier with ChatGPT, ChatGPT 4.0, and just to show you guys, I'm going to paste this into Zero GPT to detect it, and it should detect it as AI content. And yeah, 100% AI content. It's even recognized as from ChatGPT. Okay, so we can see here our starting point is um, detected. So I'm going to go over to Undetectable AI, and simply going to paste this in here i'm going to use the humanize feature here we're simply going to click on humanize it's going to take a few seconds it's going to rewrite it and it's going to do things like remove the ai buzzwords make it more human readable make it flow just make it more human like generally okay and hopefully we're going to see a result from that inside zero gpt so i actually ran this earlier and this was the output so we can see it's changed quite a bit but it's still kept you know the general um the general uh, structure and aspect okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and copy this and um, then paste this into Z uh, zero GPT. So it was 100% AI before. And if we copy and paste that into here now, we're going to detect and hopefully, fingers crossed, brilliant. Okay, so your text is human written. It's only got a 13% chance of it being AI, which is really, really, really awesome. Um, I doubt any client is going to reject this. Um, and we can even go ahead and edit this further. So this is the part here, which might be AI. If you edit this further, you're going to get 0% absolutely perfect. Okay. So yeah, use zero GPT to check. It's a free tool, but, um, undetectable AI is one of the best humanizers out there in my opinion. So you can see it's done a great job with that already. So that's the first method. The second method is we're actually going to go ahead and ask chat GPT itself. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my prompt. I'm going to simply be paste the undetectable content in here. I uh, just want to make sure I've got that. And we're going to ask it, we're going to say simply, why is this not AI de detectable? Okay, so we, we were asking ChatGPT, you know, what are the reasons? What's the thinking? Why does this not get detected by um, AI detectors or branded as AI? Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Okay, so it's given some general information about what AI detectors actually look for. Things like a natural phrasing, repetitive patterns, that type of thing. Um, and it hasn't triggered simply because, um, okay, so it's it said the passage you shared it has some features that could potentially trigger detection as AI. Center structure, punctuation, use, repetition of concepts, okay? So it's also given some suggestions about how to make this even more um, undetectable AI because it came back as 13%, right? So Scott would help revise the passage with smoother transitions, correct punctuation, and more natural flow. Here's an example of a revised version. Absolutely perfect. So I haven't even asked it for a revised version, but it's already given me a more human-like version. So what if I want to repeat this process, okay? So we can go ahead and use this if we want to. What if I want to repeat this process? So I'm going to go to my prompt here. And I'm going to say, 
follow-up question. Give me a prompt using these methods that ChatGPT has talked about that will generate non-detectable AI content. So I can go ahead and simply use this prompt again and again and again. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. And yeah, you can see it to create content that feels more human-like and less likely to be detectable, um, structure your prompt to uh, blah, 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 blah. So this is essentially what the prompt is actually doing, okay? Or the philosophies that the prompt is gonna follow. And here we are, write a paragraph about Mars that feels naturally conversational, engaging, like an article in popular science magazine. Describes position in the solar system, why it's called the red planet, blah, 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 okay. And this is the example output, okay? So we're actually gonna, you know, we've used ChatGPT to find out the reasons why the uh, article was not detected by AI. And then we've asked it to give us a prompt that we can reuse in future to generate um, AI undetectable content, okay? And we can, you know, further double down on that. We can go further with it and talk specifically about each of the points and basically build up our prompt to make it a lot better. And um, yeah, we can use that again and again and again and make it repeatable, okay? Or you can add it into your workflows, etc. So that's the second method. Um, first method we looked at using uh, a tool called Undetectable AI. The second method we looked at was actually using ChatGPT itself to generate us a prompt to look for why our article was undetectable and to basically copy that and follow it. So in the third method, we're actually gonna use ChatGPT again, believe it or not. We love ChatGPT. And we're gonna uh, paste the uh, original article in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and basically um, rewrite this article uh, to include some light gram article errors, okay? So what we've done is we're basically saying, okay, um, humans are not perfect. Um, it's unlikely we're gonna get 100% everything right grammatical wise, you know, spell mistakes, yeah, sure, but there may be an apostrophe missing here or something like that. Um, if we add, hum you know, just a light sprinkling of human error to our article, we should see that reflected inside um, our AI detection. So let's go ahead and prompt this, okay. So, bonus points, spot where the errors are, yeah? Let's go ahead and paste this into uh, zero GPT just to see what it comes up with. Okay, 72% AI, right. So we can see here that this part is fine and the first part of the sentence and the third part of the sentence uh, highlighted here in yellow are actually uh, chat GPT. Okay, so we've gone from 100% to 72% just by adding in some errors. So we can go ahead and uh, do this further, you know. Um, we can simply remove um, what we got here. We can simply remove that, remove that, and um, put in a spelling mistake here, and let's detect it again. Now obviously, you'd, Okay, that hasn't actually done too much. Why always in the live examples does it not work? But anyway, when I did this earlier, um, I used a different example. Um, you can see where I'm going with this, right? We've reduced it from 100% to 72% uh, just by um, correcting a few things or adding a few mistakes. You can do that further. Now, obviously it's not best practice to intentionally include mistakes, but if you really bang your head against the wall uh, with a, a certain section of your content, that it just cannot get it undetectable, it might be worth just throwing an outlier in there just to kind of see um, and have a play around with it and, and see what you can come up with. It. Yeah, okay. There's probably some creative tricks and creative methods you can use to kind of fool the AI detectors, certainly. Might even be worth asking ChatGPT or Perplexity what these are, right? Um, who knows? But um, yeah, hopefully you can kind of get an idea, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. And if you've got a stubborn client, you can pass uh, AI detection that way. So that's three ways we've uh, looked at today on how to pass AI detection. We've got uh, using a tool and detectable AI, really, really good. Uh, asked ChatGPT to develop you a prompt. And we've also um, asked ChatGPT to rewrite the article, but include some human error inside there. And um, yeah, like I say, I'll play around with this and we'll get it down further. Um, always in the live example and never coast to plan. Always.
So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed that video and maybe you've come up with your own ideas from these points of um, you know how to include them in your workflow or some other ideas about how to make your content even more undetectable. But like we say, I'm not too bothered about AI detection right now. Um, it's in a bit of a weird spot because um, like I say, you can still rank with 100% uh, detected articles. Uh, that's been proven time and time again. So don't worry about that too much. But anyway, Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I am a small channel trying to grow. I am starting a weekly newsletter, which is gonna have all my tips, tricks, and prompts included absolutely free. Not gonna spam you, simply one email a week. You can sign up through that for the link below. And if you are really keen on producing a lot of content quickly and you want undetectable AI content, great content straight out the bat, I'm gonna give you a link below for three free articles with my absolute favorite AI SEO writer. Um, try it out guys, it's really, really awesome. It's called Journalist. You won't be disappointed, all right? I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.